Hey, how you guys doing? Um, I'm going to give you hopefully a quick tutorial how to get um, animated lower thirds working in OBS Studio 27. Um, candidate release for Mac. Um, before we start, I'm going to, in the comment section below, I'm going to put in where you can get both applications, the beta OBS Studio and also the animated lower thirds. Hopefully, that way you can download both uh, right away. Now this assumes you already installed the uh, beta version 27 OBS Studio and uh, and of course you opened up the uh, compressed lower thirds HTML source. Okay, first thing we got to do is kind of set up lower thirds. Now I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. I had some issues and workarounds I had to do to get it to work and uh, let me close this out right here. And so if you do find a better way, I'm sure over time there will be a better way of doing it. Is um, you can open up Finder and then you can go to your application folder. And what I did was create a folder inside the application folder. Just right click and then new folder. And then I named it OBS Studio. And when you double click it, I went ahead and... Um, put the animated lower thirds right next to OBS Studio 27. Now the issue I was having is normally I would put it inside OBS Studio itself. Uh, I'd right click, show pa package contents, and then go in here and put it right there. Now what was happening is when I tried to open up a browser source and put the link in, it couldn't open up OBS Studio itself and so that was the big issue so I this was a workaround I'm not saying it's the best way but like I said if you find a better way please let me know in the comments below okay once you do that you're going to um, get inside the animated lower third folder and then into the lower thirds itself and there's going to be an HTML file which is going to be control panel which is going to be installed in OBS Studio. You're going to go ahead and double click on it and it will open up your web uh, default web browser. And as you see on the left, this is what the control panel looks like. <clears throat> and you're going to copy the uh, URL because this is uh, a local file. We're going to close it out. And we're going to close that out for now and open up OBS Studio. Now I had some formatting issues. I couldn't get it to work and so I had to restart the video. Um, in the menu selection you're going to go to View, Docs, and Custom Browser Docs. And for the URLs where you're going to uh, paste the uh, browser URL we just uh, finished copying. And then you're going to name the doc name whatever you want. Um, I, I obviously chose lower thirds. Just like so, and then we're going to click Apply. And when you close it out, it's going to bring up the control panel for animated lower thirds, and then you simply drag it where. Um, okay, if I can get it to work, and <laughs> now we're having some more issues. Okay, uh, hopefully we can. It's not working again. Wow. Okay, that's because it's probably beta and some other issues. And okay, we're going to pause it. We're going to fix this thing so we can get the video done and go from there. Okay, there we go. We fixed it. I uh, had to move, shuffle things <clears throat> around. And okay, here's the um, lower thirds panel. Um, I'm not necessarily going to do a tutorial on how to utilize animated lower thirds. There's some already on the internet. Mine's primarily with installing it and getting it working in uh, OBS Studio Beta 27 for the Mac. And uh, let me see if I can get it to work again just to show you. And as you can see, uh, we got the animated lower thirds right here, lower left hand side. Um, now note with this is when you close out OBS Studio, it, for some reason it doesn't save it. Perhaps it's because the workaround that he did affects how it works. I'm not sure. 
In fact, I'll show you. And then you also see another bug, a problem I had with this um, two versions ago with OBS Studio. And we're going to quit uh, that. We're going to bring, uh, here's it right here, uh, crashes on me. Which is another problem. It's an, actually an older problem. Um, we're going to open up OBS Studio again. As you can see, the uh, animated lower thirds goes away. So obviously, um, still some more work. Perhaps once the uh, 27 final release for Mac comes out, we won't see this. Hopefully, we'll see. But uh, that's one way you can get it up and running and working in, uh, um, you know, operation for testing and other things, which I'm still testing myself. So thanks for watching and see you guys later.